the general elections looming. Both the PNP and the JLP are on the last lap of campaigning. Of course, both the PNP and the JLP are extremely confident as voting in the general elections begins tomorrow, August 31st. Now both Andrew Olness and Peter Phillips are vying to become the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. The events that will take place throughout this week, starting on August 31st and ending on September 3rd. After the results are read, we will know who the next Prime Minister of Jamaica will be. Will it be Andrew Olness or will Peter Phillips be the next Prime Minister of Jamaica? Well, all the necessary activities that will happen this week will determine the answer to that question. After weeks of campaigning in unprecedented circumstances, under the cloud and the looming pandemic, voters will start casting ballots in Jamaica's 18th general election tomorrow, August 31st, before the final polling on Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. Andrew Holness, who is currently the Prime Minister and leader of the governing Jamaica Labour Party, and Peter Phillips, who leads the opposition People's National Party, squared off on Saturday in the final of three political debates, which was held by the Jamaica Debates Commission ahead of the September 3rd general elections. Both leaders declared that they have clean hands in as they spoke on corruption, economic growth, and broken election promises. Peter Phillips first made the declaration in responding to a question in regards to his health, in which he said that he was cancer-free and that he was fit to continue with public service. According to Dr. Peter Phillips, he comes with clean hands. He also mentioned that in his youthful years, he had the opportunity to coordinate the construction of houses in St. Catherine, establish the JUTC, and also rescue the Jamaican economy from chaos. He said that he is now prepared to give service once more, and his health is now in perfect condition. The Prime Minister responded by saying that he was elated to hear the update on Dr. Phillips' health. He also proceeded to say that he also has clean hands and that he has worked hard and he also has presided over the construction of housing as well and he has presided over more roads in Jamaica than any other government in recent history. Fullness rejected assertions that his campaigning may have contributed to the increase in pandemic-related cases in Jamaica, pointing out that he personally delivered more than 80,000 masks to people who were on the campaign trail. We must go on with our society, Andrew Holness stated. We are now in the phase of the pandemic where the society has to learn to live with the disease. Phillips later accused Andrew Holness of ignoring advice from the experts, whom he said recommended the tightening of restrictions leading to the period between the emancipation and independence holidays, which is largely blamed for the recent massive increase in pandemic cases, especially in the southeastern end of the island. On the issue of failed 2016 campaign promises, including fixed elections and job descriptions for ministers, Andrew Olney said that some of those remain aspirational, while noting that internally he has taken steps to hold cabinet ministers accountable. Phillips 
also upset many social media users after suggesting that household duties prevented women from taking up positions in politics. He later committed after being pushed by journalists that win or lose half his Senate appointments would be women. Leaders also gave some insight into their projections for Thursday's general elections as well as reflections on their respective campaigns. LP is extremely confident that it has delivered on its promises of prosperity, which placed it into government in a stunning upset in 2016. The JLP's victory defied polls and relegated the high-riding PNP to the opposition benches with a thin loss. JLP currently has their sights set on approximately 37 and 42 of the island's 63 parliamentary seats. They have promised that they will drive the nation to recover stronger from the crippling pandemic which has pounded the island's economy, leaving several sectors on the decline amid a rising toll of sickness and loss of lives. We will make the investment in our people to build back stronger, given the effects of the pandemic, promises Andrew Olness, as his party pitches a 10-point pandemic recovery plan. Dr. Phillips is planning to rain on the JLP's parade on Thursday, September 3rd. He is currently expecting 40 parliamentary seats, too shy of the two-thirds majority. A key point in his push for Jamaica House is his party's pledge to give 370,000 families across the island a direct deposit of $4,000 each month towards their electricity and water bills as part of a pandemic recovery initiative. We will provide immediate relief for the Jamaican people, specifically to the most vulnerable and the working poor. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the statements and the mandates that have been put out by the leaders of both respective parties that will be contesting the September 3rd general elections. Do you believe that they will fulfill these promises? Who will you take on?